a ribbon-like toolbar to your Excel projects. Dynamic Toolbar features text boxes, image buttons, drop-downs, and checkboxes. Clicking a button runs the assigned macro or routine. Dynamic Toolbar's appearance can be customized to use your project's theme colors. All buttons glow when the mouse hovers over them, just like Excel's ribbon. To install Dynamic Toolbar, find the Installing section in Dynamic Toolbar's documentation. Click the zip file's hyperlink and if asked, allow the download to run. Find the downloaded file button and click it. Select Show in Folder. Right-click Dynamic Toolbar.zip and select Extract All. Choose a directory to place all files and click Extract. Open Add in Demo.xls. Dynamic Toolbar is configured by making simple entries in the Toolbar Definition Table, or TDT. The Sample Toolbar has 20 controls. Each control is defined in a TDT row. Here is what the TDT's columns are. Tab column identifies a toolbar and all controls belonging to it. A toolbar can only display one tab at a time, but the TDT can contain multiple tab definitions. The Group column adds organization to our controls. The Control column identifies which type of control is used for each toolbar option. Control types include text boxes, drop downs, check boxes, and small and large image buttons. Every control has a caption. Callback is another name for a macro or routine assigned to a control. The project name does not have a callback assigned to it. Most other controls do. Values do not apply to text boxes. For buttons, this is their image file's name. For drop downs, this is their list items. Settings provide text box and checkbox initial values and change with the text box or checkbox. Getting icons for a dynamic toolbar is simple. Start Google and set it to look for images. Type what you are looking for, like open icon. Scroll through the images to find one you like, then Right-click and select Copy Image. Start Microsoft Paint and paste the image. Click Resize and set the mode to Pixels and enter 50 by 50. Crop the image. Click Save As and choose JPEG, BMP, or GIF format. Select a folder that makes sense for your project and save. To add Dynamic Toolbar to a new workbook, Copy the TDT from the add-in demo. Start modifying the TDT with the tab's name. Delete rows you don't need and make any other necessary changes. Save your project. Create an icon folder if you like. And place your icon files there. Make sure your add-ins dialog has dynamic toolbar checked. Copy code from add-in demo XLS's this workbook module to your project. Change the add-in loading code from installing the add-in for the first time to installing it from the add-ins collection. Don't forget to change the tab name too. All that's left to do now is record your macros or write your routines and name them according to the names you entered in the TDT's callbacks column. This add-in is free. Use it to up your VBA skills or just use it. Get it here.